Um, our program is set up for families to come and they typically stay here for, for about 30 to 90 days while they get on their feet. Um, we expect all, all adults in the household to work full time. But can they stay at night? Um, yes, okay. yeah, we, we are a shelter where they stay with us fully for the, those three months. And that's why I was saying we have the, this house and then we also have our Promise House. It's, uh, the Promise House is very close to Tech. Um, and there's, um, it's a five bedroom house. So each family, we have four families at a time. Each family has their own bedroom. Um, and then there's a volunteer bedroom. Um, you know, the um, families get a job, start saving their money um, to help them get on their feet. Um, we do have uh, rapid rehousing funds, which are available only uh, to Family Promise graduates, not the general public. I get a lot of calls about that, and uh, you know we just don't have we have a certain amount of funds that we receive every year, and so we only have enough funding to serve those who are actually in our program and have graduated. But um, they uh, can get rental assistance after they've graduated from the program. Um, uh, we typically help any, anywhere between three to six months um, of paying their rent for them after they've graduated to help them further get on their feet. Um, like I said, the families are all, um, we do run background checks, we do drug testing, um, we, we look at their, the entirety of their situation before they come in here to kind of see who's looking for, um, who really needs a helping hand. Uh, versus those that are looking for a handout. Uh, so we try our best to screen for that. Um, we, you know, we're, we're here to help families if they need to call to get assistance uh, for themselves uh, or maybe for a friend or family member that they're aware of um, or if they're interested in volunteering. We always need volunteers. Um, and I, I think it would be great way for college students to kind of help themselves um, while helping us um, because volunteering here is so easy all, all you know the, the volunteers just come and they're here with our families they're not um, required to do anything crazy um, but you know on a Saturday afternoon how easy would it be for somebody to come and sit on the 12 to 5 shift they can bring all their books um, and study materials, sit down at our kitchen table and study or sit back on the couch and study just like they would have done at home. Um, but they can be building up volunteer hours that will look great on their resumes when they graduate. Um, or they can even come and spend the night. I mean, just spending the night from say 9 p.m. till 7 a.m. and then they've got, you know, 10 hours of volunteer service. They can rack those up really easy if they did it, you know, once a month or once every quarter. Um, how, you know, how quickly could they have, you know, say 200 hours to put down a volunteer service on a, a resume? Um, 